work. Let's keep up the hustle. Excuse me, Coach Cornelius. It's David. Okay, well, I just noticed that my son has been sitting over here for a little while now, and uh, it's been about three minutes and 45 seconds to be specific, and I'm just wondering when we can get him back in. Right, he just came off. I gotta give him a rest. I gotta give other players a chance to play too. Okay, but whoops, how is he supposed to get scholarships when he's not on the field? There's six. Well, the soccer moms did warn me about this, so do you have Zell or Venmo? What's it gonna take to get him back on the field? Name your price. That's not what this is. Okay, I think there's been a little bit of confusion. You see, my son is very experienced and skilled in FIFA, so he should be on the field. Come on! <sighs> no kidding, we can't get him off that thing. Right? And that just speaks to how dedicated and talented he is as a soccer player. So I know if that FIFA game wants him, you definitely need him. Ma'am, can you please go sit with the other parents? Can you not deprive my son of his future Olympic medal? <sighs> Amber Jack, you ready to go back in, buddy? No, I want to go home! Do you mind slowing down a bit? Girl, calm down. I know how to drive. I'm calm. I'm really, it's just you've been driving in two lanes for about 30 seconds now, just so you know. What? Oh, my bad. <laughs> you want me to text for you? No, no, I'm just trying to find music. Just hold on. I'm holding on, trust me. There's a stop sign. There's a stop sign. Oh my god, is that a new Starbucks? Girl, you just ran that stop sign. What? I slowed down, and plus I need to get new brakes anyway, so I don't want to stop too much. I don't think that qualifies you to break the law. Yes, here we go, finally. All right, turn it up. Woo! Oh, hell no, I'm sorry, absolutely not. You are not responsible enough to be adding a musical element to this car ride, hell no. Oh, what is your, wait, look at me. You got something like right here? How about I just look in the mirror while you look at the road? No, you didn't get it yet. Oh my God, we're gonna die. Whatever. Whoa, oh my God, what is this guy doing? He just cut me off, you idiot. What, you piece of shit, dumbass driver. Thank you for calling guest services at Walt Disney World. How can I make your day magical? I'm not sure that you can. You see, I'm very dissatisfied with the customs and policies that I witnessed on my last vacation. Hmm, do you mind elaborating so I can get a little bit more information? Well, my son was so excited to finally dress up as his favorite Harry Potter character, Seamus Finnegan, just to find out that there's no Harry Potter at your park. I see. Well, Harry Potter World is actually at Universal Studios, not Disney. Exactly. That's why we went to the park that has all the countries at it. We expected to see all people represented, but the Wizarding World was not. So we are extremely disappointed, to say the least. I do apologize for the confusion. Well, if you were truly sorry and actually want to make my day magical, I expect a full refund on food, travel, tickets, everything. Okay, well, we've never advertised having Harry Potter at our parks because we don't have the rights to it. So why doesn't Harry Potter have rights? No, no, we don't. Listen, Tinkerbell, I'm a Slytherin, so you don't want to mess with me. Okay, that doesn't get you a free trip to Disney though. Excuse me, how much longer until fireworks? Oh, Magic Kingdom fireworks start at 9 p.m. It's only 10.30 a.m. Yep, but we do have a parade that's about to start if you- Goodbye, come on, Amberjack. No, wait, I wanted to trade pins with them. <sighs> Why don't you choose someone else to trade with? Remember we had that conversation about cast members with gender neutral haircuts? We want to stay away from them. Yeah, but they had a Kylo Ren pin. We're going to lunch. Mommy needs a Facebook break. Been on Facebook this whole time. Ahoy, we need two for lunch. Oh, wonderful. Do you have reservations with us today? Oh, no, but my son is a prince. <laughs> prince Amberjack. Oh, okay, I see. So our reservations are actually several months out, so we can't take any walk-ins. Okay, so I have to wait for fireworks. I can't eat here. What is one supposed to do at this park? I would be more than happy to try and help you find another dine. I don't want to walk somewhere. Mom, stop. Where is the magic? I thought it was supposed to be magical here. I'm going to Buzz Lightyear. Jackie, don't make me use the leash. How many in your party? Come on, Jackie. There's two of us. We want the first row. Oh, fun. Okay, so that line's just gonna be a little bit longer. Mom, it doesn't have to be the first row. Oh, Jackie, Mommy wants you to have more fun with her than you did with Dad, so we're going to the first row. Okay, just step behind those people right over there. Come on, Amber Jack. Mom, I hate you. For the love of Davy Crockett, this line is so long. Excuse me, how many people are in your party? Oh, it's just the two of us, me and my friend. Okay, so my son and I can switch with you. Uh, no. <laughs> Well, I can see you two are non-moms, which of course is a luxury at Disney World. Us moms that have the kids, it's a lot harder on us, so you might want to let us jump the line. Yeah, no, no, I'm not letting you skip. You see, if you actually think about it, we paid more to be here since we got two adult tickets and you're an adult and a child, so. Well, that's because Disney knows how to accommodate parents, and I expect you to do the same. <laughs> no. This park used to be great before you millennials took it over. I'm pretty sure Disney is appreciative of anyone with a disposable income. <laughs> Grow up. Mom, stop being a Karen. Oh, hey kid, you want to ride with us? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am, how can I help you? Why is the pool closed? Because it's 11 o'clock at night. Okay, I didn't ask you what time it was, did I? I know the time, thanks. I have a date tonight and I have two children upstairs and I do not want them in my room when I get back. I want them down by the pool entertaining themselves. Okay, well, we don't currently have a lifeguard on duty, and even if we did, we wouldn't allow children to be running around entertaining themselves by the pool unattended anyway. Okay, well, I specifically booked this hotel because there's a pool. 
I completely hear that, and the pool is open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hmm, I wonder if I should tell the news that this hotel doesn't accommodate parents. I mean, you can. We literally have a daycare center in this hotel, so... <laughs> well, I can tell that you're not a parent, because there's a certain mother code that you're not following in this situation. You know what, you're right. I definitely cannot relate to the urge to want to leave my children by the pool at 11 o'clock at night by themselves while I go on a date instead of just get a babysitter. How dare you? Okay, so to return this item, I would just need the receipt or the tag that was on the shirt. Honey, I don't have any of that stuff. <laughs> gotcha, so I would need some sort of proof of purchase since we do have a 30-day return policy. So what are you saying? I'm saying that I can't give you your money back without a receipt. <laughs> Pardon me, but are you telling me you're just gonna keep my money? Well, now it's our money. You know, I should have known I couldn't trust you. As soon as I saw that blue hair and those big lashes and all those earrings, you just, you're a crook. We're the same. You're done. I want a new cashier. I want someone else. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's nothing I can do. I want to speak to somebody else. I want to speak to somebody else. I don't want you. No, no, no. Okay, so let me know when you're done having a tantrum. You're a witch. You're stealing from me. Everybody, this woman's stealing from me. Give me that. Everybody, listen up. Give me our PA system. Customers, I'm so sorry about that. We have a Karen at the front. I thank you for your understanding. And you know my name, so you're a witch and a stalker. Hey, did you want me to clean up this room real fast? Uh, no, you don't have to. I can do it. That's okay. Well, you hired me as your housekeeper, so I don't mind cleaning up. True. I just, I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. So if you're not feeling it, I totally get it. Okay. Do you want me to make you any food? Um, I don't know. Are, are you hungry? Uh, yeah, but I mean... You're hungry? Oh my god, we should, we should go get something. Or I can make you something, whatever you want. Seriously, let me... No, I'm... You hired me to help you, so let me help you. Maybe if you wanted to just go get my wallet and order us food? Okay, so you just want me to order takeout for you. Well, not if you don't want to, because if you don't want to, I totally get it. But I know that you're hungry, and I feel really bad that you're hungry, so I want to feed you. I am here to make you food. What do you want? Oh my god, no, I didn't mean to make you mad. I'll, um, I'll find something. What if you just, like, crack an egg in my mouth, and we'll call it lunch? 